Hello and welcome to the 39th episode of our weekly Unity Tip Roundup, where we take a look at the tweets that were posted or mentioned on or around each Tuesday under the Unity Tips hashtag. Second video in October 2022. Glad you are all checking back in. Have you looked up? No. No big rock falling to earth that you could see. We meant the migratory birds, ducks and stuff. It's getting cooler and the birds are slowly leaving the country to the south where it is warmer. It surely would be nice to just follow them, but we still have the unit tips for this week, so we'll stay here with you. In this episode, we gathered five of the tweets that were posted, shared or retweeted around 11th of October 2022. How nice that Mitsa didn't leave for the winter either. He enriches the Unity community almost every week with his tips, which we are also always happy to have in our videos. While we are looking for warmth, Mitsa has at least one tip that helps us with another type of search. If you ever get lost in the setting menus and you can't seem to find what you're looking for, keep in mind that there is a search field in the top right. Speaking of sun and warmth again, Sunny Valley Studio is with us for this week again. Even if appearance are deceiving and Peter's Sunny Valley Studio is located in Poland, his tips are a warm ray of sunshine in the Unity community. This time his tip is for those building 2D games and can see gaps in their tile maps. To get around this you can use a sprite atlas to fix the problem. You can see exactly how it works in his tweets. A video is also included. Thanks Peter! Last week, for the first time in our series, today again. Once more and Pixel Shenanigans would have his first Unity Tip video hat-trick. Hat-trick? That's when a player scores three goals in a row, for example in soccer. But um, no pressure. This time Pixel Shenanigans Unity Tip has to do with exporting important stuff from your projects. So you can export scripts you use over and over again as a Unity package and reuse them in other projects. You don't have to reinvent the wheel over and over again, so why not use good things twice? As it happens more and more often, this time we have someone with us who has never been in our videos before. It is always nice to see new faces. Every crew from Taiwan develops games in Unity and has 269 followers. Besides that, he also develops a tune shader for Unity's universal render pipeline. Check out his website for the link. His tip goes in the direction of animation. Unity offers an API that gives you complete control for blending between animations. You just have to code a little. Check out his video in the tweet. Maybe this is something for you. Thanks for your contribution, Eric. Elena Blains is also in our videos for the first time. Nice to see you. Elena is a game developer from Malaga and she already has 4476 followers on Twitter. At the same time, she is also co-founder of Stega Academy, an online academy for video game development. The academy and her tweets are in Spanish though, so we had to translate her tip, which we thought was really good. Luckily, Twitter offers automatic translations. The tip is about using interpolation, which is a tool that is essential not only in game development. It is a mathematic principle to get a value that is at a defined point between two other values. Something like, given the point that is 23% between point A and point B. Check out the screenshot for an example. And the links to her and all other tweets we mentioned can be found in our video descriptions, as always. Speaking of, as always. As always, you can find our contribution in the Unity Tip Tuesday at the last part of this video. If you are debugging code, it might help to use the profiler. If you use profiler markers, you can mark script code blocks. This helps to get performance overview of different parts of code and identify issues. We think this tip is relatively simple and helpful. What do you think? Those were the tips for the second video in October. We notice from day to day that it's getting colder and colder. Since we can't do it like the ducks and fly south, we can at least be happy about the Unity community who post helpful tips week after week under the hashtag UnityTips. Twitter is a really nice network when it comes to that. It's also really nice to say thank you. And special thank you goes out to the five creators in this video whose Unity tips we are shared here. Visit their accounts, like and share their tips. That's always an incentive to keep posting. And while you kept spreading the love, you can also follow our YouTube account and hit the bell. That way you'll always be informed when we publish another video, so you won't miss any cool Unity tip. We already have all the other videos in a compact playlist. You will find the link to it in the video description. For any questions, comments, recommendations or requests, please use the comment section. Thank you for your time and see you next week.